Google Forms Response Validation. Response validation on a Google Form allows you to set rules that the answers must follow. You can do this for short answer questions, paragraph questions, and checkbox questions. To set the response validation, you're going to select your question. So in this case, I have a short answer. I'm going to select my box and go to the three dots in the lower right hand corner. You'll see the option for response validation. With short answer questions, you have a couple of options. You can make it so that the answer must be a number, that the text has to contain something or doesn't contain. You can even set it to be required to be an email, which will require it to have that at sign in there. You can even have it set for a URL. The URL is particularly helpful if you want students to submit a specific resource that they used while doing some research. You can also have the option to set it for length, meaning you have to have so many ans so many characters in your uh, answer. You can even do minimum character count. Both of these options are also available for paragraph questions. So if you want your students to, uh, for example, do a faux tweet, you could set that maximum character count to the character limit for tweeting. You could also do this like you want to make sure that they write a decent paragraph. You might want to set that to a character count of 500. In this case, because this is going to be a year, I'm going to select it to be a number. I can say it's going to be greater than, less than. You can see all of the options that I have here. In this case, I just want to make sure that it's a whole number. You even have the ability to set custom error text. So you could fill that in. If you don't fill that in, they'll just get a, please make sure your question meets uh, the criteria. For checkbox check questions, if we scroll down to my checkbox here, you can set this to have, let me get out of my answer key, there we go, um, you can set the response validation to be the number of boxes that they have to check. So you can be at least so many, at most, or exactly. So because in this case I know that there are exactly four answers, I might say I'm going to, that they have to select exactly four answer choices. And my custom error text must might be something like, you must select four answers. That would then show for my respondents if they don't follow those rules.